All right, so let's move on to our first webinar poll, and hopefully we can get some audience interaction here. What kind of a paywall model do you have on your website today? Is it hard paywall, soft paywall, metered, registration wall, none of the above? Okay, and I'm gonna actually, I think I have a poll set up in here. Okay, so this is kind of a cool feature of GoToWebinar. I can launch this interactive poll. So uh, we can see your uh, results in real time. So go ahead and choose an answer. If you don't have any kind of paywall at all, uh, none of the above, looks like 100% so far are metered. Now I wanna wait just a couple more seconds for more votes to come in here. Okay, I think we've got the majority of the people in. All right, so we're actually looking at 100% metered paywall. So that's interesting. I appreciate that feedback. So um, <clears throat> that's kind of my suspicion. That, that's what we have seen a lot of. It's what the, you know, the New York Times does. That they they all seem to uh, be going in that way. And that's actually what they do at, at, at this specific example. We're going to go through a little case study of the JournalTrib.com. This is um, a paper in North Dakota that I really think just hit the, the model right on the head for what you want to be doing. So uh, they're the framework. Um, now, in terms of pricing, you've got several options, and there's usually a range that we see. So just to give you guys a, a ballpark idea, what they do at the journal is right up here. This is their subscription page. So you know, $2 a week, $10 a month, $50 a year. They're they're kind of uh, you know they're they're on the low end for the per edition price, but they're definitely on the high end per month. But this is kind of the range that I think you want to be thinking uh, on a per month basis, and then you you know obviously adjust those for the longer term commitments. Uh, so if someone commits to a year, uh, in this case, she's giving them a pretty big discount, over fifty percent. So. Um, you know, however you want to price that out, but uh, these are the options that people typically do. Auto renewals, I think at this point, if you're not doing this already, I, I really think you should reevaluate your strategy or maybe your technology. If it's not possible to do auto renewals on your website, then definitely give me a call. We can do that on WordPress very easily. Uh, you would just need a Stripe account to accept the payments, but we can do that. And if we can do it, we should, because the whole culture of digital content consumption, you know, everyone uh, is used to paying month to month and having it auto renew, like for their Netflix account. That's what I'm always trying to compare the newspapers to. It's like Netflix. You know, so you really want to, I think, definitely offer that month to month option. But then any, uh, you know, variation on that is, is up to you with most paywall systems. Okay. 